Maria, can you tell me something about yourself and the work you do? Uh, yeah, so uh, I currently work in fundraising. Uh, originally, I come from Ukraine. I used to lead Ukrainian Students for Liberty in Ukraine for some time. I've been involved with European Students for Liberty for two years now. And I'm also doing communications with Students for Liberty. So I'm very much involved in the libertarian movement. <laughs> During your speech, you said that our strategy for promoting liberty needs to change since the times have changed. Could you elaborate on that? Yeah, I think that uh, one of the things we sometimes neglect, ne neglect when we promote liberty is that we put so much pressure on political freedoms, uh, economic freedoms, that we forget that freedom starts here, so freedom comes from inside and you can't really promote freedom on a political level if you have unfree societies and it gets down to uh, the Hayek theory of social change, so we are moving from the bottom up and that's basically, I think that we just have to put a little more into empowering people and not in the sense like promoting just freedom of speech and like this, we have to promote people being free and being able to, to not bend down before the rules and expectations other people have, but to go for their own acceptable way. Is there a philosophy or motto that exemplifies this strategy of yours? Yeah, uh, as I mentioned in my speech, I was talking about Albert Camus. He's a French philosopher and he developed the idea which sounds as I rebel, therefore we are. But uh, he, the idea was that we have to transcend our own selfish nature. But since I'm a radical individualist, I think that it all starts with us. And the idea should go as I rebel, therefore I am. So we should start with ourselves and the moment each of us is rebelling against the circumstances, high taxes, everything, it's the moment where it all begins. What is the aspect of freedom that is under the greatest threat in these years? Well, I would say that freedom has always been under threat. Uh, one of the reasons is that many people are just afraid of being free and as we can see, people give away freedom for the sake of security and I would say that we don't talk much about it in libertarian circles but we have to focus more that we can't sacrifice freedom and obviously I think we can see different countries like for example in the UK we can see the politics shifting more towards personal freedom so conservatives are, uh, are focusing more on the social stuff so there is some kinds of a shift and obviously freedom has always been under threat but I'd say it's very country specific. For example in Ukraine it has always been about economic freedom and I guess yeah it depends very much on the country. In Ukraine it's all about economic freedom for example. And for the end, how do you like Belgrade and are you here for the first time? It's my second time in Belgrade. The first time I came here was um, two years ago. Two, yeah, two years ago for the LibertyCon Regional Conference and uh, I'm very glad to be here and I'm even more happy to be speaking here. It's, it's my first time giving a speech and I, it's great. Thank you. Um, I, I love your city and it's interesting. Thank you very much and lots of luck in your future endeavors. Thank you.